more EG progress. Good morning, guys. We are back working on the attack EG here, getting this thing ready for the case swap. So as you guys know, we really want to paint this engine bay and just clean stuff like that up because it is, it's disgusting in here. So uh, we're doing a lot of miscellaneous stuff today, but things that need to get done one way or the other with this case series. So we're still waiting on parts. Um, we can't really test the engine and, and the car or anything like that just yet. But Tim is currently working on getting all the lines and all the crap out of here that doesn't need to be in here, especially because we're gonna be painting the engine bay pretty soon. Um, we should hopefully get some of the parts, most of the parts that we need to finish the swap in this week, which we'll be able to cut where the engine mount goes so we can start prepping this thing and actually painting it. Tim's gonna be working on the engine bay today. By the end of this video, this thing should be pretty much cleared out. And while Tim does that, I'm going to be working on the K24 today, literally pulling everything off of this motor and making this thing just a complete bare block because we're going to be replacing everything. And we have some cool parts right over here that we got that I'll show you guys once I'm done pulling everything off. But I've got to do all of the wiring. I've got to do the intake manifold and the header back here as well. So let's just go ahead and get started. I got all my tools ready and we'll make this thing bare. Special guest. Babe, what you think about the shop? Pretty cool, you're just down the road now. I know. We got the K24 all torn down. Well, as much as we really needed to. We're yeah. gonna keep the alternator and all of our pulleys and stuff because Hybrid actually makes a really cool bracket that helps us retain all of this stuff even though it's from a JDM engine. Which usually it doesn't work. So David from Hybrid's gonna be sending us that so that we can actually mount that on here and it'll be good for when we drop the engine into the engine bay. But overall, this is basically how bare the engine needs. I mean, I still need to pull up all these stupid lines or hoses, but this is pretty good. Headers off, intake manifolds off, starters off, and all the other miscellaneous little lines and wires and bits are off. One thing I do want to show you guys, though, is our good friend Joe from over at, from over at Art of Attack is kind enough to donate us his Skunk 2 intake manifold that he actually was using on his case swap that he ended up uh, not doing. So now we have a brand new intake manifold and it's gonna look super sick. Let's go ahead and test it real fast. Just take a look. There we go. A little minor test fit. So much better than stock. And to look really nice in the engine bay with the color that Tim and I wanna do. Check it out. And then our header is on the way. This thing is just gonna be completely transformed. It's gonna look very, very nice in the engine bay. We wanna do a really clean job before this thing even goes into the engine bay. So overall, Super happy with it. Tim is almost done in the engine bay. So while Tim, Tim continues to work on the brake lines here, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off the fenders because obviously when we paint, we want the fenders off. But also, we're gonna be fitting the, the charge speed fenders that we ended up not doing last time we were building the car. This time we'll take the time to do a little bit of body work and make them fit on the car because we're gonna need the extra meat in the front and they'll just look a lot cooler. <laughs> Quick update for you guys. You saw the engine. Check out Tim's fantastic engine bay work here. He pretty much got everything out of here 
it still looks disgusting. But like I said, when we have our parts and our mounts in here, that's when we're gonna push this thing out and actually get down and dirty and use some Meguiar's, completely clean this thing and prep it for paint, which you guys will see. It's gonna be really awesome. The bay of this car is going to be sweet and it's gonna look really nice with what we have planned for the K24 in here as well. So not only is she gonna look good, but she's gonna run really good too. So very excited. Um, it's still kind of like a mess in here. We need to move some things around, but brake lines are off. I mean, all the wiring and stuff is all out. Everything is cleared and it's gonna be nice and ready for paint. I think the parts need to hurry up and get here so I can get <laughs> down and dirty. <laughs> yes, it's been a terrible time playing the waiting game. If anybody, if any of you guys are building a car right now, you know how miserable it is to get parts in. I don't know what the deal is right now, but everything is just either on back order or companies can't keep up with the amount of orders that they have. It's crazy, but I promise you guys we're working as fast as we possibly can to get this thing done. It's gonna look very, very cool. Especially with the color combo that we have planned along with what color we're doing the car later on. It's all gonna be very nice. To take us a little while, guys, this is our first time ever doing a swap in the garage, number one. Also, first time ever doing a case swap in the EG. So taking us a little bit of time to figure things out and figure out what we keep on the new engine and what we take off and what we need to get for the engine bay. But step by step, we are getting there. She looks good. I did a little, a little peek in there. I wonder what all this is. That's what I was, it's like grease. Weird. She's gonna be nice, Tim. Oh, you're beautiful. She's gonna be a screamer. Screamer down the streets. Very, 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 very scary on the corners. Yeah. <laughs> you're not lying. <laughs> but Tim, can we take a second to appreciate how nice this is going to be? This is gonna be beautiful. I can't wait to hear the VTEC scream on this thing. I know. It's gonna be quite the difference from a 50 horsepower D15 to a 200 horsepower K24. 200 horsepower plus. We'll see. It's how gonna be a uh, monster to handle. <laughs> No power steering. Yeah, so like it's well. Hopefully our uh, trans has LSD, so it wouldn't. Be, it won't be too bad. Yeah. But if you didn't, it would be like <laughs> torque steer, really bad. Just preparing for the uh, the new Type R. But yeah, this looks very nice. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to get our new valve cover, which is going to be super cool. Once all that gets in, it'll really give you guys a little taste of what we have planned for the EG. Until we get the mounts, I mean, this is this is what we're working with. That's what we're working with. Holy crap, look at this guys. Just a sand tornado across the street over there. It's like a real, that's a thick one. That's a real one. That's a big guy. How does that even happen? I don't know. There's two of them. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking about Tim's Zuby. It's still here. We still got her. Waiting on some axles. We have a six speed transmission for it. So it's gonna get some love. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Since you guys have seen it, I don't think they've seen the SDI wheels on it. No, they? they haven't. Yes, yeah, so Tim actually put the 20, 2014 SGI wheels yeah, on it? Yeah, 2013. 2013, 14 SGI wheels with some spacers. I actually like it with this stance way better than I like it I with the too. Rays. Maybe maybe we should spice it up with some uh, powder coat on gold on them. Ooh, yes, most really definitely. Most and definitely. I also touched up the engine bay and cleaned it real nice. Ooh, let's, let's check her out. Nice. I painted this black. I want to go all the way with it, but this thing is awesome, Tim, bro. Now everybody's in, in the comments have been asking for Tim Subi. I do mostly so, daily drive it when I don't use my truck. So. Yeah, Tim rips this thing around. I really do. <laughs> but yeah, with the new STI wheels, this thing actually looks really, really cool. So we also have STI side skirts, which we need to install as well. But Tim Subi is still here, guys. Don't worry. All right, now that we're done at the shop. We're gonna go hit the gym and my pre-workout ritual is always Ghost Pump, Ghost Gamer, and an Uncrustable Ultimate Pump Fuel. And before we hit the gym, quick little E85 stop. E85 is 459 here. That is crazy. This week in the gym, it is currently my deload week. I've had a lot of you guys request how I put more lifting in the videos, which I've been making effort to. If you guys are maybe new to the channel, I used to do a lot of bodybuilding and I uh, used to have, and fitness was a, a pretty large part of the channel for a long time because of the amount of shows that I was doing and how long it takes. But recently pr priorities have changed. My life has changed so much and oops jamming out here. My life has changed so much. I'm so busy and I travel so much now that I really, uh, I can't train for bodybuilding shows. I can't really diet. And so my, my fitness goals have changed as well, which I've actually really been enjoying. And I've been training more 
for strength and powerlifting meets, which I would really love to compete in one day if I'm ever home for an extended period of time where I can actually train and uh, set a date for a meet. But currently, training for strength and overall mobility and stuff, and I've actually really, really loved my training style. I've talked a little bit about it before and I won't go too in depth right now because I'm just rambling on. But recently, I've been training for strength, mobility, and overall just body health. And this is literally the strongest and the best my body has felt. I might not be as lean as I was or look as jacked or whatever, but my body feels amazing. I am the strongest I've ever been in my entire life and I've just been loving my training split and my diet has been awesome. I can really eat whatever I want, but I make sure that I'm eating healthy, whole foods and gearing my carbs and my fats to my heavier training days. So anyways, like I said, today's a deload week. Today's my chest day, so we're not gonna go too heavy. We actually had kind of a lighter day, more, really more volume today than weight. So it's gonna be a little bit easier, but I'll take you guys along for the bench session here. I usually just film it for Instagram, so I'll probably throw that on the screen right here, and I'll see you guys in the gym. Awesome session at the gym. I just wanted to stop by the shop real fast before we put the GTR back into the garage, just because it's my favorite time of the day to come out to the garage and see the view. Let me see if I can adjust this a little. Oh, there we go. Favorite time to come out and check out the view at the garage. It just looks so awesome. <sighs> it feels so good to finally be working out of the garage full time, having everything in here right down at the garage. All the cars finally in one place. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos so far in the new garage. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have been enjoying the videos so far. I love our little filming area. It's coming along so nicely. So have a lot of work to do, but we are definitely, definitely getting there. All right, we're gonna pull the GTR in and we're done for the day. Guys, that is gonna be it for our video today. It's the next morning. We actually had a really fun night. Um, now that I'm back home and I have a little bit more time, we've picked up streaming again and we actually had an awesome time last night on the stream. I'll put a couple of clips from our scary stream last night. Uh, ah! <laughs> Get me in! No! No! <laughs> Like I said, it was a lot of fun. It was hilarious. So if you guys want to follow the live streams, watch me open up Pokemon cards, play games, whatever. Um, I'll leave that link down in the description box below. But thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are as excited about the EG build as Tim and I are. It's our first like really, really big build in the new shop, which is going to be cool. If you guys have not already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.